In the last video, we tested water to see if it would do a good job cleaning the internal combustion chamber of an engine, and the results were very impressive. It did a great job at cleaning the internal combustion chamber of an engine, but we had a bit of a problem. It also ended up getting into the crankcase of the engine and causing milky white oil from all the water that had gotten into the crankcase and then began to ooze out of the carburetor. Why spend seven to ten dollars on a can of seafoam if you can do the same exact thing if not achieve better results with automatic transmission fluid? So today, once and for all, we're going to find out if automatic transmission fluid can do a better job than seafoam. In the last video, this was the lawnmower we used for the water test. And water did a pretty good job of cleaning off the carbon deposits. By the same token, there's a lot of carbon left. So I want to continue to use this, this engine to see if we can clean up some more carbon deposits with the automatic transmission fluid. As you can see, this oil is not milky white. It's fairly clean. It has less than 15 minutes of use on it. So after the test, we're gonna pull oil out of the crankcase to see what the color looks like. In the comments section, a lot of folks are saying it's very important to add fluids at a very controlled rate. There's a bag in which I'll be adding the transmission fluid. This is going to be my way of metering the flow of the fluid as it's being infused into the intake manifold. And this is the hose, of course, that will be feeding the engine the uh, automatic transmission fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and add the automatic transmission fluid to this bag. I've got this, the, um, the hose um, clamped down so fluid should not come out of it. Okay, we just shut off the engine a minute ago, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the spark plug and take a compression reading. So we're going to go do the cold engine compression test. To your left is the automatic transmission fluid, brand new transmission fluid. I just added this jar. To the right is the old used oil that's had 45 minutes of use on it. Apparently the transmission fluid has gotten into the crankcase of the engine and with all those powerful detergents from the fluid, it has done a good job, I think, of cleaning up the crankcase of this small engine. Very interesting results. So I'd like to know, would you rather use seafoam, water, or automatic transmission fluid to clean the internal combustion chamber of an engine. Some of you have commented that any sort of additive inside an engine is a total waste of money. 
that if you just do prevent and maintenance, you won't have all these issues. Uh, by the same token, I think we've seen some proven results from these projects from using these additives that makes it worth considering use. Uh, some of you have also considered that it's a waste of money to continue to experiment like this. Um, you have a great point. I, I agree. This is probably a poor use of resources. To me, though, this is a form of education for myself, and I'm hoping you guys are finding this somewhat valuable. And so I don't mind laying out the money. I do this instead of going to the movies and other forms of entertainment. This is how I find um, enjoyment. So in future projects, I've bought, I've bought some really expensive additives that some of you have recommended. We're going to be trying those out. Also, I'm going to do some procedures that will probably test the limits of these engines. And I anticipate destroying a couple of engines. Again, not to be wasteful, but really to see what products work best. And so in order to determine what works best, it will result in total engine failure at some point. So I am really excited about these future projects. I hope you are too. Just want to say thank you very much for watching the video, and I hope you'll consider subscribing and coming back for more videos. Thank you.